Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I digitize home movies here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, give me a shout. Check out the website. It's EmeraldCoastDigitizing.com. If you watch this video because you're looking into my business to see if I would be a good fit, check out the website. Give me a call anytime. I'd love to talk to you. If you're watching this video because you do this yourself and you, you just enjoy this kind of content, thank you so much for all your support. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the comments. Um, things are going really great up here. And I'm just so happy to be a part of this community. You guys are really, really great. And um, even to you guys that are kind of negative in the comments and stuff, you guys are cool too. Thank you so much. Today in this video, I am working on some eight millimeter video eight and high eight to be exact. I think they're mostly high eight, but I got uh, all the cameras out and working today. Bunch of Sony handy cams. I'm also doing a digital camera um, memory stick transfer for a customer as well. We do all kinds of stuff up here, pretty much anything you can think of, bring it in, I'll figure it out. Today I'm just working. I don't know if the GoPro is going to handle it. For some reason, all these batteries suck. I got a ton of batteries, but I can't get any of them to stay charged. This one won't even charge while it's plugged in. The one that's on the... I'm using this little battery bank and this cable. Trying to keep this GoPro going so I can make a video. So frustrating. This cable's not working. Let's see if this cable works. Alright, I'm back. The GoPro has been problematic. Today I got a few things going on. It's a Saturday. I've got a trade-in mini DV camera to test out. I've got a trade-in Handycam Digital 8 that I'm testing out. And I'm also cleaning tapes over here as well with this machine that I've built, this contraption. And it's, it's working well. Um, I'm still working on my own personal tapes. And then once I do all my personal tapes, I'll, uh, I'll focus on this next customer because this next customer, all their tapes are mold. All of their home movies are covered in mold, dust, dirt. And I'm gonna clean those. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and start some of these video aids. I already got them all, re all rewound. These guys right here. And I got them laid out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start these up. Just a uh, behind the scenes, long form video for you guys. Got lots of new people in the uh, in the comments. Lots of positive feedback. I freaking love it. I really like doing this. I really like making these videos. I've got another YouTube channel that I, I've been working on a little bit, uh, but not really. It's, it kind of has some car repair stuff, but and some van life stuff and some camera tech reviews you can go check that out if you want but I'm really starting to focus most of my time on this channel I don't know you kinda just make the content that you have right I don't constantly work on cars so I can't be constantly making car content but I am doing this every day so this is uh, probably the better place to film I mean, this thing is just working so good, guys. Once I stop that middle part there with the pad on it, let's stop it. And this is my personal tape here. But I just taped it down. And you can see all the dirt and mold it's pulling, especially off the top and the bottom. It's definitely some on the inside. But I can rotate this around. I've got some ideas on some upgrades that I'm going to make a video about uh, probably in the next few days, maybe even the next video. But it's rotating over this these spools here, nice and easy rotation, and then it's just going around that and getting it nice and clean. I think that if I change that out, that middle one out with one of these, then we'll have all that long surface right there for it to roll against 
and I think that's going to be the next upgrade and I think it'll fit in there just perfect so I think that's a good idea the more surface area the pad has the more the tape runs across it the better results you get with each pass and I'm thinking about adding maybe a roller here and a roller here as kind of like drying rollers so they dry it so this will be a wet roller in the middle and then these will be dry that way it dries it out but anyways oh, I really like doing the uh, the video aids because there's I mean unless there's something really wrong with them they're usually fairly easy to do but these are with their habits I am noticing that these are full tapes as you can see there it says full and they're also shot at two hours long so they are taking a while so once I get these started I'll have some time to work on mold because I hope these videos aren't too all over the place I I basically just put them in the uh, timeline on my editor in Final Cut Pro and I um, I just cut out all the dead spots where I'm not talking for the most part and just cut around my voice but then there's you know those times where like I'm doing something and I'm not talking so I have to find that spot but turn that down all right well baby move on to the next one oh it's an upside oh, actually this is the, my least favorite camera to use for eight millimeter just because it does good it always plays it but it always every time I turn it off I always have to go in and go to the menu and turn the display off otherwise it burns the date into the entire video I mean that's cool to have for like a few minutes but you don't want it for the entire video so far everything's been video 8 This one could be blank. Oh, we might be at the end on this one, actually. I think I need to rewind this one. Let me eject this. I played these earlier in a digital 8 camera by mistake, thinking they were blank, so now I have to go back and check them. Oh, no, it's at the beginning. But I do think they're blank. Just want to double check on a video 8 camera. All right, now this thing's not powering up. What's the deal? There it goes. Now I got to go back into here and get rid of the date. So frustrating. All right, play. See, now what's it doing? There it goes. Fast forward. I don't think there's anything on this tape. This is one of the last ones as far as dates go, and it was fully rewound. And there's no, there's no label on it. See, the counter's going on it. I don't know. I'm going to try it in a different camera, I guess. It's just weird. When they're blank like that, it's just kind of weird because, you know, you just want to make 100% sure that you're getting everything off each tape. And when it goes blank, you have to be, you know, a detective to find out if it actually has anything on it or not. And the counter was moving on it, so... Let's see. There's no counter on this one. It's reading high eight, which is right. Yeah, I just don't, I think that tape's blank, guys. It's okay, I just wanna make sure. I think this one is two, oh no, this is, a, this is number nine. This one definitely has footage on it. Caitlin, tape one. These flip up uh, things are great. Right. Get this one. <laughs> I bet you guys figured out my password from that one, huh? Well, the GoPro is working now. I guess it was just that cable. Not all cables are created equally. I mean, this customer was really just so good at organizing and labeling all of their tapes. I mean, 
you re rarely see that. For every like 20, 20 orders that come in, one of them is really organized. Even when I fully rewind them over there and I look at the tapes, I still like to at least rewind them to the very beginning in camera and kind of see the video a little bit before I start recording it. Now I know where to hit record. Are you going to play or what, dude? There it is. Audio sounds good. This one's still hooked up to this mini DV camera down here because I was, uh, had a customer bring in two mini DV tapes yesterday and I just went ahead and knocked them out. This is kind of a Frankenstein camera right here, guys. This is the one I used to do um, alignment adjustments on and stuff. So I just leave everything open on it. Let's see if she's worked. Let's see if she's got anything on it. I, I need to open them all up like this because so, it's nice to see the tapes moving. I think I'm getting sick, guys. It's like 20 degrees here in Florida. I had to pack my chickens up last night. It looks like I need to align the path on it. No, oh, it cleared up. I rewind it and start it over. Started seeing that line at the bottom of the screen. I was thinking maybe I need to adjust the paths on it, on it a little bit anyways, but it looks like it clears up after a couple seconds. So we'll just send it. There it goes. See, it'll clear up. There it is. Looking pretty good. Okay. And this thing is taking forever. 39 gigabytes on this old camera. I guess this camera's not that old. It's old enough though. It's got, I don't want to touch it. It's got an HDD. <laughs> See, it's got a hard drive, internal hard drive inside of it. I think it's like 100 gigabytes or something. But these things here, man. Whew get some tapes in that aren't problematic but I still have to deal with problematic tapes while these are going but at least I can get some stuff done and also get some tapes going and these have been fine so I can just keep an eye on them I know things are going to be okay for the most part and as long as I review them I should be able to be pretty dang sure everything copied I mean, I'm obviously here watching it and checking them every once in a while for audio issues, but a lot of times it's it's best just to let them go and at the end go back and check. Oh, we got a customer. Is that next door, next door neighbor? Yep. Hey, how are you? Just one second. Be right with you. Oh, uh, what's your last name again? Floyd. Floyd. Now, is everything I've told several people too cool. that, about it because they were like, let me know, let me know. So. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> I appreciate that. And the word of mouth really helps me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I freaking love it, dude. I'm 38 and I grew up playing with cameras. I worked for National Geographic the last 10 years. Wow. Um, doing, doing stuff in Alaska with cameras and stuff like that. And so I've been doing cameras my whole life, and now I'm like getting older, and I'm just like, all I want to be is around the old stuff from like 2004 and yeah. late 90s. So ask him what kind of best GoPro for me is. We want to do some hunting videos with GoPro. You want a GoPro? Yeah. I make GoPro, I make GoPro videos every day. Yeah, he does. He has a YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, I'm recording right now. Oh. How are you doing? I mean, any GoPro, I mean, any GoPro in the last six years. I mean, any camera these days works great. It's about what you do with the camera, right? It's the content. No one cares about the content. If your camera's too nice, they're going to be like, oh, this is an advertisement. That's why all you're seeing is, like, cell phone footage. Because people, even if it's an advertisement, it looks like it's real. You know, so. They come a long way, haven't they? Well, uh, the, yeah, the industry's changed, that's for sure. That's why I decided to open a business and stop working at it, kind of. 
<laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been getting pretty busy through here. I'm constantly working around the clock. I don't think I've had a day off in four months. Well, that's good. But yeah, so I'm, I'm not complaining. <laughs> we'll see how it lasts. If I, once I digitize everyone's tapes, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Bye. take it easy, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Any, any problems at all, call me. Okay, fine. I don't think I was rolling on them. No. I got to start. This camera up here will roll for 10 hours, but after 10 hours, it stops. That's pretty good, though. I just got to remember to turn it on when I come in. All right, let's get back to it, guys. That was just a customer picking up their order. That's why I come up here on Saturdays, mostly not to work, just to play around and let people drop off orders that can't do it during the week. 